This is a 33-yard game-winning effort. From the hold of Schufert, the snap, the ball is down, the kick is up, it's long enough, end over end, and it's good, and South Dakota has slayed the Dragon! Last season, South Dakota defeated the Bison at the Fargo Dome, giving NDSU their second loss on the season. The Coyotes look to do the same, this Saturday. Some familiarity with the players. Uh, they know obviously that uh, they were the team that beat us. We got a bad taste in our mouth. We're, we're going to prepare as hard as ever and uh, go out there and we're expecting a tough Missouri Valley football conference game and uh, we're going to go out there ready to play. With a win at the Dakota Dome, NDSU will capture at least a share of the Missouri Valley football conference title. That's the goal that we set out every year. Um, is even when you date it back to uh, starting in winter conditioning is uh, what can you do and get yourself in position to compete for the Valley title because if you do that then a lot of things get set up. The way our conference is going this year it's, it's, it's just an awesome feeling to be there because it could have been anyone's title at the beginning of the year. Just to be there, opportunities for six in a row, it's unbelievable. For the Bison to achieve this, they will need to stop a Coyote offense that is finding success under first year head coach Bob Nielsen who was previously at Western Illinois. He's one of the best football coaches in the landscape of college football because he's done it at every level. And that's something that's really hard when you've done it at every level uh, and had the success that he's had. And uh, uh, he's one of the most respected guys in, in our league without question. Last season, NDSU gave up nearly 200 rushing yards to South Dakota, who looks to do the same this season with senior running back Trevor Balma and Minnesota transfer Chris Strebler at quarterback, who has ran for a team-high 760 rushing yards and eight touchdowns. You put he and the quarterback back there, you have two really athletic, physical guys. For us, we have to stop the run. I mean, that's that's uh, been our philosophy forever, and, and uh, we have to try to make those guys one-dimensional, which is difficult. You know, they're a fast team this year. They've been getting up with the ball, and they've been going. Sometimes the chains aren't even set when they... Uh when they hike the ball, so just really just getting ready and getting our play calls in and getting ready uh, mentally before they snap the ball. Although they've been successful running the ball on offense, USD ranks last in the Missouri Valley in rushing defense and gave up 400 plus rushing yards against South Dakota State last week. Just solid all around, much improved. Uh, they have a very similar defense to our defense, so it's something we're going to be used to seeing, something we're definitely going to be prepared for. And we're just going to do our thing. North Dakota State will look to capture a share of its sixth straight Missouri Valley title and try to keep its new number one spot in the FCS playoff rankings. Kickoff is scheduled for 2 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on NBC North Dakota, Midco Sports Network, and ESPN3. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.